If you want to send me links to your Indiegogo to use as a background for videos, take a look at before the videos, that kind of thing, uh, you can send those to BiancaZombie602 at gmail.com. You can also send me, if you give me permission to use art or music, whatever, as a background for videos, um, you can send those there, and I'll use them. This is the Mark Wade and Richard Meyer. As you can see, Mr. Mark Wade, who is a huge name in the industry, huge name, huge name, uh, he co-writes uh, Ignited, which is just hot trash, um, $81,000. Richard Meyer, who's an absolute nobody with an unfortunate haircut, is a little bit more than that. How does that happen, Mark Wade? Where are your, where are your industry insiders? To be fair, Mark Wade is a California millionaire. He lives in Southern California somewhere, where uh, every home is literally a million dollar home. Uh, he's not hurting for money, but uh, if he found eighty thousand dollars worth of idiots to fund him, he's a legitimately bad person. There are a few people in the industry who are just out and out evil there's they have no redeeming features okay i made this video the first time i i had a low definition camera and I w it was handheld so everything was shaky and blurry and i thought oh well i'm gonna i'll redo it i'll do use a, a high definition setting but it was still handheld so it was high definition but it was still shaky and blurry so this last time i have it on a tripod higher definition so hopefully it won't be shaky and blurry. So you've already seen this Mark Wade comments. He uh, he has his GoFundMe, and he if you notice on his GoFundMe, he doesn't have any comments. It's really strange. It's really strange. Um, actually, in the beginning, he did have comments, and he said in the beginning that I'm going to leave these comments up to show you how evil these comic skaters are. So, oh, that's interesting. I'll just uh, I'll screen cap these comments just for the hell of it. Just, just in case Mark Wade turns out to be a line... You know what? So I screen capped him and went back. Oh, the comments are gone. What happened, Mark? People roasted him. So this is, you've already seen this doc, this uh, video. Find another video. This is kind of more, not of an entertainment video, just kind of a historical document of what people feel about Mark Wade. Because he's, um, he's not good. Fernando says... Another one of Hero Mark Wade's victims. Why is it that he primarily targets women and people of color to bully and harass like this? I oppose hate and support genuine comic artists. Yeah, so do I. So I support uh, your boy Zach. Sad to see Mark Wade become such a villain. <laughs> well, look at that. The who's who lineup of people I should never buy products from again. Mark Wade's an ideological bully, a coward and broke the laws by committing tortious interference and defamation. If you stand with him, he's a horrible person. Uh, he is all for rich white men destroying the livelihoods of POC independent business owners. Good to know. I'll explain that, what they're talking about, in a minute. Mark rules, Richard rules. Fair enough. Uh, every time these people post their their hate speech, Mark gets another couple hundred bucks in donations. Well, how come he's at his gun, fundraising goal is one hundred and twenty five, and he's at uh, eighty, and your boy is at one hundred thirty four? Here's how Mark Wade treats women POCs when he's not on camera. Bounding in the comics article from twenty eighteen, October twenty six, Mark Wade accused of abusive behavior and poor business practices by former business partner. Interesting. If you support this, knowing of his tortious interference with Meyer and Antarctic Press, you are fundamentally a bad person. Even if you hate DNC, you cannot support this and be in the right. Good point. It's, this is about the principle of the thing. doesn't matter who the parties are. You can hate Richard Meyer, but you still don't want to see someone defamed and um, have their business practices unfairly interfered with. I mean, that's fundamental to earning a living, supporting your family, that these club of mean girl, racist, sexist like Mark Wade can stop you from earning a living. That's how powerful they are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. 
Okay. Oh, even if you hate DNC, you cannot support this man the right because everything Wade did was in the wrong legally and morally. This man is no hero. He doesn't stand up for the weak. He keeps them under his boot. He doesn't care about women. He doesn't care about POCs. He doesn't care about the gay community. He only uses them as weapons for his own gain. This is an evil man who needs to learn he doesn't get to ruin other people's livelihoods. Not anymore. Okay. This is an interesting article. Shannon Pierce Outlaw says, I've gone back and forth on this very personal post, but I'm seething with so much rage I have to let it out. I'm done pre- pretending it didn't happen. The NDA has been up for years, non-disclosure agreement, and never had to sign a thing. F. Mark Wade. This man got in business with us. He created a partnership for the comic book store that was never technically legalized. When his piece of garbage girlfriend decided she wanted Jason gone, he sided with her knowing it was wrong. When it got bad and we finally lawyered up, we were told, do you have tens of thousands of dollars? Because he does, and he's going to drag this out in court. We can win and we will, but that's what you're going to owe in fees. Can you cover that? Because he can. I know his lawyer, and he's giddy at the prospect. We let the store go. Ten years, my best friend's life was gone. Ten years hard work realizing a dream was ripped away from him. To add insult to injury, he left the store with 150000 in annual sales, 100 k in product fixtures. Mark paid him less than $5,000 to shut his mouth and walk away. That was our reality. A rich, recognized, wealthy white man wanted more and took it. Robbed the little guy, smeared his name, took his business, and then a year later broke up with his girlfriend and signed it all over to her like it didn't even happen. He ran, literally, flew across the country and ran from his problems. He throws money around or he runs and hides. We always heard about his temper. We didn't realize the reality. If you don't believe me, there's a 911 tape out there of Jason calmly calling the cops while Mark is screaming bloody murder, destroying the store in the background. I don't know all the details of this lawsuit and I don't really care. What I do know is Mark's temper got him another situation. Chris says, hard pass on this. The unmitigated gall to act like Wade is innocent in this kerfluffle is hilarious. Mark appears to have a history of being an angry antagonist, and anyone who is familiar with how he acts when he doesn't get his way can attest to this. If you want to pay for a wealthy man's legal fees because you like his comic, that's your business. But this is happening because he inserted himself into a business arrangement of someone he didn't like. I do not believe he is a hero to the weak. I believe he is a very angry person who hastily picks fights and only publicly virtue signals his heroic intentions while never actually accepting any responsibility for being a rude jerk. Plenty of links to back this up. Then again, it's your money to waste. Okay. My name is Amanda. I'm a 30-year-old comic book fan. This is on Mark Wade's GoFundMe comments. These are why, this is why he deleted the GoFundMe comments. My name is Matt. I'm a 30-year-old comic book fan from Scotland. Six years ago, I ran afoul of Dan Slott and Stefan Wacker when I was critical of Slott's take on Black Cat and Spider-Man on message board. They began stalking me on the forum and telling me to F off or insisting that I was a something young virgin guy who lives in his mom's basement. First, what? Why would you sex shame people? There's nothing wrong with being a virgin or being a whore. If being a whore is acceptable, then surely being a virgin is even better. And uh, basements can be can be very, very nice. When I prove that claim to be false eight individual times, by what, having sex in front of them? <laughs> Their aggression quickly extended to and wound up mostly targeting my husband. Oh, fair enough. Who also posted on the forum. Really, though, they were chump change. They were sad little trolls who were never able to deal with any criticism. And as soon as they found out I was actually a woman, they were completely lost with how to deal with it. So they instead slandered my husband across multiple different websites got him banned from forums, CBR, Crawl Space, Comic Vine, articles, and write-ups on webs- websites I'd contributed to, comic sections. They insisted we were racist and sexist, and the stuff that's seen as a usual guff now. He apparently got bored of it after a few months, but along the way had introduced Mark Wade to us. Mark Wade spent the next two years taking what had been just an online campaign to further levels. He had no investment or actual interaction with either me or my husband. He saw it and got involved just because he obviously liked the idea of attacking people with accusations that made him look like a moral hero. He and some followers got my husband fired from a job and me kicked out of university only a few months before graduation with enormous claims that we were bigots. He and others harassed our Facebook friends, insisting they explain why they are friends with us and spreading completely unfounded claims of me and my husband being white nationalists. They they love, that is their go-to phrase, which is funny because they're the most racist people on earth. 
He would cite a false made-up example when asked for evidence on that. He wouldn't provide any. Instead, put out an even bigger made-up story to draw attention away from that fact. They do that all the time, too. Very shifty. We eventually had to nuke all our personal accounts. Both our lives were effectively ruined. My husband was unemployable, feeling like a burden, attempting to kill himself. I have now wasted years studying uh, amassing student debt with no actual results and had to work three different jobs. Mark Wade is a garbage person who destroys people's lives. Read this before supporting. I did by Shannon Pierce Outlawed. Uh, he is being sued and asking for money. However, he has not accurately represented why he's being sued. This page leads one to believe he's been sued for defending women and minorities. That's only true in his mind. He's been sued because he allegedly committed tortious interference and defamation, interfered with the business contract between Richard C. Meyer and Antarctic Press. Is this true? Well, you can go to the Facebook posts or bound into the comics. That's up to the judge, ultimately. Still, it makes no difference. He's misleading people into thinking that this money will be going to help protect women and minorities. It won't. It's going to help Mark Wade pay his legal expenses after being accused of committing a crime. Do you realize this GoFundMe campaign violates GoFundMe terms of service? Read eight. Section 8 was not allowed by GoFundMe's restrictions. You're funding someone under investigation for potential crime. Well, it's a civil issue, not a criminal issue, but... Um, Similar. The comments from the Comics Gate crowd have really helped encourage people to donate. Keep up the good work, you sad little virgins. Rick, if that's... Why... why anyway, I'm not going to... Why does someone's sexuality matter to them? Would you call someone gay? Queer? Isn't that the same thing? We call someone a whore? Anyway... It's remarkable how many people are willing to shill out money to a millionaire comic book writer to help him fight a lawsuit he brought down on himself when they could have been spending that cash on comics. Oh, and in case you guys didn't hear, one of Wade's business partners just came forward and had some interesting things to say about that sort of person he is. Check out the article on Bounding Comics. Bounding Comics. Aaron Cook says, Comics Gate is a hay group. Well, all are far right people. Yeah, well, if it's a hate group, it's the most diverse hate group in history. How is it we're a hate group and we're all different uh, sexualities, colors, and um, ethnicities and religions, and you guys are all the same color? Dan Slott, C.B. Sabolsky, Mark Wade, Gail Simone. How does that work that we're the hate group and we look like the rainbow flag and you guys are all... Straight, cis, hetero, heteronormative, patriarchal, capitalist. You get what I'm saying? To people like Chase who are wondering, I'm quite happy to see these slanderous comic pros flush their money down the toilet, if that turns out to be the case. What I don't like to see is struggling fans paying for Mark's Santa Monica Wade's bad behavior. Okay, he lives in Santa Monica, which is one of the most expensive places in the world. It annoys me to see anyone being grifted, even if I think they're being dumb. And to Michael Hyde, even if that person was authorized to speak on behalf of Antarctic Press, which I'm pretty sure they weren't, they also admit that Mark, give me your noodle money so I don't have to spend my riches Wade, was part of the reason they breached their agreement with Richard Meyer. There's probably a good reason he's asking for the oh well not the, he's asking for the exact amount of the damages claimed. That's a um, civil procedural issue to get into federal court um, for under diversity jurisdiction, where the amount in controversy has to be seventy five thousand dollars. Or oh gosh, there's parties between the states or several states. I don't know. Civil procedure was a long time ago. Comics Gate and hashtag Move the Needle is the only thing driving sales in the comic industry now. That and the 31 variant covers on a garbage number one issue. I can see why you call yourself a poor man, Wade. No one is buying any of your books because no one is interested in listening to your preaching. Yeah, go check out Ignited with, um, it's just a weird racist power fantasy. Mark Wade is the best thing to happen in the comic book industry in the last 30 years. Meyer is the opposite of that. What's more important, Wade is in the right here. Antarctic Press even said so themselves. Not exactly. Not quite. Antarctic Press's uh, Facebook release was very, very unusually worded. If you want to read it, it's, it's out there. It's probably in Bounty in the Comics or Bleeding Fool has it. Uh, they said a lot, <laughs> and they wanted you to read between the lines. Mark Wade is a bully and a liar and a whiny man-child. Oh, there's so much I can say, but I won't swear. He decided because of his opinion about Richard Meyer. Uh, it's funny because Richard Meyer is, has been married to many women of different races and ethnicities and has children, multiracial eth ethnic children. Mark Wade doesn't, but Richard Meyer is 
the supreme assist person? How does that work? Uh, that he should have the right to interfere with Antarctic Press and Meyer's business. He made the decision to call and hound Antarctic Press until they broke contract with Meyer. Yes, I read those tweets myself. I'm not making a uh, defamatory statement of fact. I saw the statements. That's called tortious interference, and it is a crime. He's not a hero to anyone. So many false descriptions here. I'm surprised the rest of Mark's head fur didn't instantly catch on fire. Well, I don't think he has much. Mark Wade committed an illegal act called tortious interference and defamation. You have no moral high ground here. You misused GoFundMe to pay for your illegal activities. Not a rich man. Lives in Santa Monica, California. Comics gate is a hate group. Mm. Oh. oh, what's this? Oh, Mark Wade, why are you so salty? I wish I knew who drew this. I would give you credit. That is a beautiful image. I'm going to have to use that more often. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, email me at biancazombie602 at gmail.com, and I will see you guys next episode.